Hey everybody, so I'm going to make a video on how to do the mandala die. I promise you, if you don't watch this video, you're not going to know how to do this and you're going to have zero success. And I'm sure I'll be getting the phone calls and people posting that it's not working for them. Excuse my harsh tone, but this is, you know, it's important because this is basically a giant stamp. And the only way you're going to get it is if you follow these instructions. I promise you, it's not gonna work any other way unless you've got a couple hundred tons. Then it's not a problem. So, so this was done using this little press. But, you have to do it exactly how I'm showing you. So, this is, and you're not gonna use urethane and you're gonna need to use at least 16 gauge material, dead soft. So if you're using copper or brass or silver, it's got to be fully annealed. Very, very important or you're going to get nothing. So I'm going to use, I happen to have some 16 gauge dead soft brass. So I'm going to set it on top of the die like this. Then I'm going to take some tape. The reason I'm using tape is so that it doesn't move. I want it to stay in the center. Wrap it up. There it is. We're off a little bit, but I'm not gonna, I'll just push it a little bit. Okay, next step. You gotta use spacers. I promise you, without spacers, you're not gonna have any success either. You don't have to buy our spacers, just use spacers. So this is just a little piece of steel that I've smoothed out. We'll have them up on the website. It'll be very cheap if you can't find a little piece. No worries. You're gonna put this in the middle of the die, like that. You're gonna tighten it up. And what you're gonna do... Explain what this is. This is the pusher that we sell. You, you absolutely, positively are gonna need this to do this die. That's why I made these pushers, is so that we could eventually start doing these type of dies. So, that's centered. Now, we're going to pump it up. Just come on straight in so they can get an idea of what's about to happen. So you're gonna pump it up. And you're gonna go pretty hard. I don't have a gauge, so I'm just gonna go pretty hard. Okay. But we're not done yet. I'm going to turn it again, because there's no way, it, what happens is that you, you gotta turn it a couple times, or you won't get an even impression. So you might want to turn it, you know, at least two, probably three, maybe four times. So this is, these kind of dies are definitely not a cakewalk on a small press. I'm going to rotate it one more time just for good measure because I want it to look good on the video. And you've got to have your press bolted down or clamped something onto a really good sturdy surface. Okay. We're taking that out. Looks like we got a good even impression all the way around. And you can see it's bulged up a little bit. So here goes. Now we're going to this one. 
So this is going to press the outer edge. And once again, you're not going to get this in one shot, I promise. And you're going to turn it, but you're going to make sure that when you turn it, just turn it a little bit. You don't want to disrupt the registration of your piece. We'll be making some much smaller ones of these. This was sort of a proof of concept, but I'll make some smaller ones because I know a lot of you guys love the, these, the detail in these dies. I'm doing this with a manual press. For those of you who have electric, this will be a piece of cake. Don't get overly anxious and pull the thing out before it's done. And if you have the strength of a newborn kitten, don't buy this die. Unless you got an electric press. And I'm turning it just a few degrees at a time. Do one more for good measure. Okay, so take a look. You can see the design poking through the back. So I bet you we got it, but we'll find out. And we did. So, watch the video a couple times and make sure you understand exactly how to do this. Okay? Thanks for watching.